Just a year after getting the gorgeous refresh on the 2021 IS, it is being canceled in this important part of the world. Over at Car Advice, Axed, Lexus IS RC Coupe and CT Hatch, I can't believe they're still making that by the way, to be dropped from local lineup. Cardvice is one of the leading online places for news in Australia. So this is heartbreaking news. The last sad news I remember reporting from Australia was the discontinuation of the V6 and the Camry there. But the IS being killed in Australia, this doesn't, this seems like an April Fool's joke, but guys, it's July. What is going on? Lexus has been forced to discontinue three popular models from its range due to a new side impact crash test rules from November 2021. What is that? Five months from? No, four months from now. Math is hard sometimes. Only four months from now, the IS is getting canceled. And it came out roughly last November, at least here in the States around that time. So this new refresh was only available there for a year and now it's being killed due to side impact crash test rules. And Lexus have always been super safe vehicles. So I don't know what this new safety rule is all about. And it makes me wonder, it's like, okay, you're gonna cancel the IS, but how is it less safe than let's say like the GR Yaris that you get there? How is it less safe than the Jimny that we don't get here in the United States for safety reasons? Like what is going on? It's really frustrating from, I guess, just an enthusiast and a consumer point of view uh, to see not only the IS go, but the RC and the CT should have been canceled a long time ago. And this is effect November 1st due to toughening safety standards. Lexus Australia Chief Executive Scott Thompson confirmed the demise of the three models at the Australian preview of the all new NX midside SUV due in November. The withdrawal of the three key models and the imminent arrival of four new models would be an unprecedented transform transformative phase for Lexus in Australia. Well, you can say one of those new models is the NX, uh, the LX, which we should be getting this year as well in theory. I would assume the new RX and then probably the new RZ, the fully electric. So there's the four uh in the imminent time frame so in the next by the end of 2022 we're gonna have four new lexuses which is really really exciting but it doesn't bring us out of the sadness of the is and the rc being killed in australia it just doesn't make sense to me now we do have to say goodbye to the is the rc and ct from november due to regulation changes that come into effect before all of their global markets here in australia so apparently australia is the first to have these strict standards I wonder what other cars are being canceled from which manufacturers uh, November 1st. Like, this is insane to me. So this is kind of confusing here. These safety standards were introduced for new model launches in Japan in 2018, but not due in Europe until 2022. Japan and the USA have not set a date for existing models to meet the new standard, but they just said that new model launches started in Japan in 2018. So that's kind of confusing. Maybe they're not counting the new IS as a new vehicle launch because it's kind of a refresh. I, wa I wonder if that's kind of the um, loophole there for, for the IS in Japan and the RC. Vehicle standard ADR8500 pole side impact performance was put into the legislation in December 2015. Mini Lexus has had five and a half years to repair its existing range and they decided to do nothing about it maybe it's because well australia is just a small market and if we make this change it's going to cost us this amount of money while not getting this amount of sales so i'm sure they weighed the pros and cons here but it's still a heartbreaker the vehicle standard applies to new model passenger cars Ford control passenger vehicles and off-road passenger vehicles introduced to Australia after July 1st, 2018 with a gross vehicle mass under 3,500 kilograms. So existing models have until November 1st this year to meet the requirements. Commercial vehicles such as utes and vans will have until November 2022. So that would be like the Jimny, I would assume, to get its act in line before 20. I just don't, I just feel like so many models are just going to get axed because of these new safety regulations. And Lexus, here you go. Lexus executive said the company considered spending the money to make the cars compliant, but chose not to. We had a lot of decisions with our parent company to assess the alternatives and our decision that we wanted to focus on the next generation of vehicles coming our way. And those next generations of vehicles coming your way, I don't see a sedan or coupe in there. So Lexus is just giving up until they can come out with some new product, which if they just refresh the IS, Australia will not be getting a new coupe like the RC 
or a, a new IS small compact sporty sedan until 2025? 2024, 20, like at the earliest, like this is really, I feel so bad for you guys down under. The IS is a much loved nameplate here in Australia since 1999. Okay, so they've had it since the first generation with a significant root, uh, facelift of the current gen, it goes out on a high. Does it, does it go out on a high? I mean, you guys aren't gonna get the five liter V8, so that's unfortunate. And it's definitely an amazing IS. I just reviewed the IS 350 F Sport uh, with the DHP. And it's a great car. It's really hard to fault things over it. I mean, yes, it's the same vehicle uh, in a lot of ways, but it handles better. It looks better, uh, and and it actually and the usability is better with the new infotainment in it. So it's just frustrating. And the RCF Track Edition ends its run lighter than all the three German flagship rivals. And they come to remind us that the RC Coupe uh, was updated for you guys in 2020. So we got the refresh, I believe, in the 2019 uh, model year. And I can't believe you guys still have the CT200H hatchback. Like the UX is pretty much better in every single way. Uh, and the CT hasn't been updated yet since 2017. That's when they canceled it here in the United States. We never got that last refresh on the CT here stateside. Here's a fun fact. Lexus IS in Australia in 2007 uh, sold four, almost 4,100 examples accounting for nearly 50% of the Lexus sales that year. And Lexus has sold 47,000 plus IS sedans in Australia between 99 and May 2021. It will likely fall just shy of the 50,000 mark before the model is retired later this year. Sad times. I mean, uh, I, I didn't see this article. I, I'm grateful for uh, my follower who shared this to me on Instagram. If you guys ever get sort of news that you feel like is pressing, um, definitely share it to me on Instagram. I appreciate that. But this is unacceptable. I just feel like it's it's just such an easy cop out for Lexus and just to abandon uh, its IS and <laughs> RC for the Australian buyers and abandon the Australian buyers as a result is just really, really heartbreaking. So my heart goes out to you guys. Um, you won't be able to get your hands on this IS. I feel like the resale value on the IS and the RC is gonna skyrocket now. Just because you can't get your hands on these vehicles after November. It's it's a damn shame. So if you guys in Australia you're thinking about getting the end the new IS or an RC, go out and get it. The CT is is a joke, so <laughs> don't do that. But holy cow, I just wanted to share that a little bit shorter of a video. What's the world coming to? <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Mm -hmm.